let's compare the real world differences in performance in the 6th and 7th generation iPod Touches. Welcome everyone, thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit. We have both the 6th generation and the 7th generation iPod Touch, with the new model there on the left and the previous generation model there on the right. Physically, both of these things look almost identical, with the only external change being the removal of these markings here at the bottom. Apple has moved those regulatory markings to the settings app digitally on your phone as to not mar up the back. There is still some text there, but it's definitely been slimmed down from the 6th generation. Otherwise, these things are physically pretty much identical. Internally though, Apple has moved from the A8 processor to the A10 Fusion processor, the same one found in the iPhone 7, though it does seem to be underclocked a little bit. This has a lot of real world implications, including the fact that certain games like Fortnite just simply don't work on the old iPod Touch, and they do on the new one. You can also use group FaceTime with up to 32 participants and AR based apps and games. But that's just a lot of talk, let's see how this actually applies to real world usage. We're going to run our app launching test with both phones here. We have each phone completely restarted from scratch, the power plugged in, and no apps open. We're then going to go ahead and open 6 different somewhat high powered apps, Clips, GarageBand, Pages, iMovie, Safari, and Mail. Both these have also been completely updated, both the apps and the operating system, which is on the latest iOS 12.3.1. Now that we've confirmed that we've closed all the apps, restarted each device, and they are charging, let's go ahead and kick off the test. As we launch the apps, you can see the iPod 7th generation on the right hand side is quickly running away with the lead. Apps are launching so much faster, they're pretty much instant. This is all in real time. And that iPod is just blowing away that sixth generation device by a ton. And in real world usage, this is how it's gonna impact you by having to launch those apps and waiting for everything to load on that older device. So using this day to day, you're gonna see a big improvement with the seventh generation. If we get into more concrete benchmarks with actual figures, starting off with the Antutu, you can see there's a big difference once more in the results. The iPod Touch 7th generation pulled a whopping 158,191 compared to the previous generation which only pulled a 71,000. Looking now at Geekbench, once more the results are roughly double here on the single and multi-core tests. Hands down, the iPod Touch 7th generation is a huge improvement over the previous iPod Touch 6th generation. While it still only has an A10 Fusion processor and not the A11 or A12, it still is pulling some decent numbers here in all of our benchmarks and in the real world usage. You can likely find some 6th generation iPod touches for sale now that 7th generation is available, but you're going to have to decide for yourself of whether this performance increase is going to be better or not. If you want to pick up any of the iPods, you can find links down below in the description. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.